okay, we talk about rates all the time, but maybe we just didn't know that we were, uh, that they were something special, that they were actually called rates. When we talk about going 65 miles per hour or your car getting 23 miles per gallon, you are talking about a rate. So let's look at this. If we talk about going 65 miles per hour, in order to write that properly in mathematical format, we would write it as 65 miles over one hour. Now if you'll remember from things that we've done before, the word per is a key word for division. So when we say 65 miles per hour, we're really saying we go 65 miles in one hour. Or those are, it's a comparison or a rate because the units are different. If we talk about our car getting gas mileage, saying 23 miles per gallon, we're really saying 23 miles per one gallon of gasoline. Okay, when, when we say these things in our normal day-to-day -day, um, vocabulary, we're always saying, you know, per hour, per gallon, per unit, per whatever. We're saying that our denominator is one. Well, that's something a little bit more special. It's not just a rate, but it's called a unit rate because the denominator is always one in a unit rate. And instead of saying, you know, 23 miles in one gallon or per one gallon, we just shorten it to say 23 miles per gallon. Okay, we're going to use that idea here and we're going to write some unit rates. This first one says that if we have $60 in five hours, we want to know the unit rate. So if I compare this and say, okay, $60 for five hours. If I want to write this as a unit rate, I need my denominator to be one. So we're just going to go ahead and do this division. 60 divided by five would be 12. So that's the same thing as saying $12 per hour. Or another way of writing it would just be to say $12 per hour. Usually we write this like a little slashy thing. Um, we can do that also for per. So either one of these exam uh, answers would be acceptable. Okay, let's try something else. This one says we have 44 bushels from 8 trees. We want to know the unit rate or how much we have in one tree. So if we start off with what we're given, they've told us that there's 44 bushels for eight trees. Again, we can need to make this a unit rate, so we need our denominator to be a one. So we just need to do our division. Now, 44 do, uh, eight doesn't go into 44 evenly, so we need to use a calculator, or we could do it out by hand, but a calculator would be fine also. So here I have a picture of my calculator. Now, we always want to make sure that we're doing this correctly also. Since our problem said 44 over eight, we need to type it in our calculators as 44, and then divided by, Eight. Our numerator is divided by the denominator. Remember that. So that looks like that's 5.5. So whenever I go back to our problem here, 44 bushels for eight trees could be reduced to 5.5 bushels per tree. Or we could write it out as the word, actual word per.